Dick, I'm here with Frankie and Shy because uh, we want to help everyone at home, including myself, introduce house plants into <laughs> our spaces. So uh, I'm going to start with Frankie first. Frankie, what are some of your tips for the types of plants that we should start with? First thing is, is you're always thinking about getting the right plant for the right place. So the guiding light for you is indeed light. So you need to determine, do you have low light? And what is low light? Well, low light is no light, but low light is if you have an east or north facing home or <coughs> a home with smaller windows like Mary does. So that's where you're going to guide your selection. And by the way, Shy, that plant with a white thing on the top was a spathophyllium. Uh, bright light, if you want to know what bright light is, that's south or west facing windows or large windows with a whole bunch of light filtering in and bright light is not directly in front of the window. Now, Shai, uh, what's one of your main tips when it comes to decorating with the plants? Yeah, so you know, the one thing to consider, of course, is do you want a solo plant or maybe you want to do groupings of plants? Because if you have a space that you want a beautiful kind of focal point, a wow, if you have the space, you can have a beautiful, huge plant, which really creates grandeur in the space. But that's a little bit more of a formal look. If you do groupings of different types of plants and different pots, you can really um, create more of a, a relaxed, uh, less formal feeling. Uh, you know, the density of the plants, the colors of the plants, these are all things that you look at when you do the groupings but um, you know it really adds a more eclectic feel to a space and you know I do love an eclectic look yes you do okay Frankie back to you what's your second tip Anything that's going to change the heat, so heating vents, radiators, fireplaces, we need to make sure that we keep the plants fairly far away from them. And even if you had a heating vent and you want to put a plant there, uh, block that vent. And uh, groupings of plants, fantastic. Plants will always do better in a grouping, so that eclectic boho look, thumbs up. Ooh, okay, love to hear that. Shy, this next one I think is where the fun can come into the decor. It's decorate with variegated leaves. So what do you mean by that? Absolutely. So variegated leaves are leaves that have different colors in them. Um, so what, what's nice about that is that you can then, of course, add that extra pop. So it's not just a green leaf. It could be a green leaf with white, uh, you know, kind of spidering coming out of it or whatever it is. But what that does is it adds a little bit more uh, visual interest to it. Okay, Frankie, what is the last tip on your list? Know your experience and go with easy first, then start to build your confidence up. Okay, Shai, and what is your last tip? You know, my last tip is going to be play to the height of a room. Get taller plants that really play to that height so it draws the eye up physiologically and creating the illusion that the space is bigger than it is. Really good tips. I loved everything about this segment. Thank you, guys.